God, you've got to be kidding me! Listen, this won't be easy. Just, just lay it on me, Doc. I'm afraid you've been diagnosed with depression. No! <laughs> All of the light has left my life. What am I left with? I'm sure I live in America and the American dream is feasible within reach, but depression? Where's the fun in that? I know, Jim. It's impossible for you to do anything worth living for now. All I can recommend is prescription medication. It will make you feel happy even when it's unnatural. I don't want fake happiness! But think about it. A life without any happiness? I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, would you? Apparently I am my worst enemy. I'm making myself miserable and I don't know why. Now, Jim, let's calm down and think this through rationally. If you take these pills, there will be happiness in your life. I, w I wouldn't recommend them unless, well, have you ever smoked pot? I will now. Okay, so do that and then take these pills. We should be good to go. Here's your prescription. I'll notify you when it's ready to be picked up. How often will I have to refill? About once a month. So I can't go if it's just half full, even if I really need to get out the house? Nope. The bottle has to be completely empty before you take these. Was that like a metaphor? Have a good day, Jim. <laughs> just because your life isn't filled with happiness every second, doesn't mean you're depressed. You're probably just not making the most of your life as it is. Studies show that aside from taking medication that alters the way your brain perceives happiness, the only way to cure depression is with a healthy diet and exercise, because that's what makes people feel good about themselves. So stop walling around feeling bad for yourself. Get up and do something useful. Oh, uh, Jim, could you come back in here real quick? Hey, dog. Hey, Jim. So, it seems that I misread your symptoms. It was my previous patient that had depression. So I don't have depression? Nope. So I don't have to live a pointless, endless void of a life anymore? Uh, nope. <laughs> yes! Yeah! 
I don't have depression. See how easy that was? He now has a whole new outlook on life just because he isn't thinking about being depressed. It's all about controlling your thoughts and not focusing on the negativity that most of the time isn't even there. Oh, hey, man. Come on in. How's it going? Pretty good. Great. Okay, so the results finally came back from your brain scan. Uh, the activity is a little bit unpredictable still, but we'll just keep you on the medication for about another half a year and we should be in the clear. Sounds good. Are you remembering to always think something positive before negative? Yeah, I try. Good. All right, we'll get you taken care of. Trust me, these things just take some time. As long as you keep looking forward and don't let the small things drag you down, life will move forward. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm trying for sure. Good. All right, I'll have the pharmacy notify you when your prescription is ready and I'll see you in about a month. All right, thanks, Doc. No problem. Have a good day. You too. Oh, and uh, Matt. Yeah? Have you been in contact with your father recently, or? No, I've cut him out of my life. Makes it a lot easier. Oh, okay, good. Just remember, if you have any future problems, you have us and the authorities on your side. Thanks, Doc. See you later. Clinical. Not a choice, but a problem reasonably solved. He doesn't want to be depressed, but his brain is constantly telling him that there's something wrong. His father greatly influenced him by telling him that he wasn't worth a life and nearly beating it out of him. And that's what I'm here for. Not these sad sacks who decide that their easy little life is too hard and they want medicine to make them feel okay. Get up, do something useful, and don't complain until life has truly put you through the worst. Say you were abused as a child. That is truly horrible. But there's always hope. Seek out a trusted source, the truest, the Bible. It says right here in Psalm 42:11, Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. And in 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 through 7, Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. As seen here, depression is even mentioned in the Bible. There's a definitive answer here. So if you're feeling negative or down on yourself, give it to God and live out the life that he has given you.